Hello, this is Dr. T. Sripati, Department of Electronic Media, Bangalore University. Hello everyone, I am Dr. T. Sripati, Department of Electronic Media, Bangalore University. Today I will be talking about electronic news gathering techniques. Friends, the television started in India 15 September 1959. The journey started successfully. In 1965, the commission is erected to start the television news. In 1967, the news has started and we have other landmarks like uh, 1990, we have cable television and allowing the private channels to start the television news. The players includes G Television, Star TV and other things. Now we have more than 350 television news channels catering us. Friends, television news has become part of our diet now. We have a lot of television channels giving us the news minute to minute. Television news can be defined as a new or newer things which are interest to many. Now television news has become part of our diet and there are two categories of television news. One is the hard news and the other one is the soft news. Hard news is nothing but a news is which is important to many and soft news is which is important and interesting to many. Friends, today we will be discussing about the techniques of ENG. ENG means electronic news gathering. Unlike the print media, a reporter requires a scribbling pad and pen and go to the event and collect the news. Whereas in electronic media, we need a set of equipments to go to the event and collect the visuals, audio and other related information. The technique of ENG, electronic news gathering, covers a reporter goes to the event, collect the visuals, audios, photos and transmit the material from there to studios or live to the audience. This technique is called electronic news gathering. The objectives of ENG, electronic news gathering, is one of the a fine technique to add the authenticity of the story. The reporter goes to the place where news has occurred and collect the news with the reality and actuality. And he reports from the place where news happens. This will add value to the news as well as confidence to the audience about the news stories. The electronic news gathering team requires a special techniques to cover the ENG stories. One is skills of live reporting. Second one, understanding the technology and the equipments which are used for electronic news gathering. And also a reporter requires sources where he gets the accurate information. And also editing, shooting and other techniques where a reporter can edit the stories, make into package and send to the channels or live reporting. This is a special techniques required for the electronic news gathering techniques. Friends, unlike other shootings, the electronic news gathering team has to have a special techniques to cover the ENG stories. One of the important and first technique is that is the live reporting techniques. The reporter should have the techniques how to report to the camera live from the news where it has happened. Second one is a reporter needs to maintain the sources where he will collect the material and balance the stories. Next is a reporter should have the knowledge of shooting, editing and distribution the 
stories. Friends, the whole process of electronic news gathering can be divided into five stages. Number one is selecting the story. Second one is writing. And third one is photojournalism. And fourth one is editing. And fifth one, most important thing is, that is the distribution of ENG stories. Friends, the first stage is selection of the story. In a news channel, there is a separate department called assignment desk where the news stories are assigned to the reporters. In some cases, what happens? The stories are selected by the reporters himself and report to the assignment desk and select the stories. Normally, stories are the scheduled stories which are calendar events. Calendar events means that is August 15th, 26th January. These are all the, in a year you have many calendar event stories. And also regular events like budget, railway budget, etc, etc, etc. Unscheduled stories, which is natural calamities, accidents, fire accidents, etc. This is the, a sudden stories which develops in the assignment desk. Once the story is assigned to a reporter, a reporter will start working on that assignment and he will work unscheduled. For a reporter, there is no schedules, 10 to 5 office hours. He will, till he completes the assignment, he works for that. That is the first stage story selection. Friends, the next stage is writing. In this stage, what happens? A reporter has to work little the research on the assignment what he got. He has to refer the blue book, yellow book and white book in telephone pages to connect the sources. Collect the information. Friends, it is very difficult to write for the television because the average size of the television news is 40 seconds. Unlike in print media, you have the columns and centimeters. In television, the news is average of 40 seconds. You have to cover the story with the intention of what is happening now. There is various styles of writing to media, for example, television is different from radio, radio is different from new media, where the news have, you have 24 hours time interval to write the stories, but the radio and television, the every news uh, schedule is 30 minutes. When it comes to new media, it is what is happening every minute. The reporter has to understand writing techniques for the television. Hello again. Now, once a journalist has gathered all the ingredients they need to produce their report, um, it's time to start writing. And this is where the fun starts. If you're writing for television or radio, your words are going to be read out loud. So you'll need to write a script which might include clips of audio or video and make it pretty conversational. If you're writing a text-based story for online, Think about how the words and the photos will appear on the screen. Think about the impact that the piece is going to have when you look at it. But before you start writing anything, ask yourself the most important question of all. What is the main point of the story? If you're not sure about that, tell the story to a friend. Uh, what's the first thing you're going to say to them about the story? Because that will give you a hint as to what the beginning of the report should be. The middle of the report contains the best of your interviews. So review all of your material, think about the best answers, which is the most interesting opinion, which quotation would balance it maybe. Uh, and you'll also need to plan an ending to the report. How's it going to end? Think about the final thought you want to leave your audience with. So you already know about the five W's of news gathering. I now want you to think about the three C's of news writing. And the C's are as follows to be clear, to be concise, and to be 
correct. Let's go over those. To be clear, well, to write it as if you were telling the story to one person. Use simple language that everyone will understand. And try not to use a long word if there's a perfectly good short word that does the same job. That's a good guide. Concise. That means short. Keep it short. Keep it, a, keep it as brief as possible. If you make your report too long, the audience might lose interest and switch off. So stick to the key facts rather than overloading the story with information. And lastly, correct. That's the third C. Be sure to get your facts right, and not just the facts. Get your grammar right. Get your punctuation right. It's also about being correct in every way, factually and in your use of language. Don't forget that. You can't just copy things word for word from somewhere else. You can't copy other people's work. You have to be honest and you have to spell out where the information came from. As we've said, truth and accuracy are two of the BBC's basic news values. Check out the masterclasses for more help. Good luck with it all. The writing is great fun. I like doing it. Um, enjoy yourselves. Friends, the next stage is most important stage that is photojournalism. In television, we use various types of equipments to cover the news. One is camera, a camera stand called tripod, and a microphone to capture sound, and a light where the visuals are with low light. We will use a camera light to light the subject and also a shotgun microphone to collect the news from the people and cables and connectors. Now we will see a small video to show that what are the equipments required for photojournalism. So you want to be a new media journalist, do you? Well, you've hit the right spot. Hey, my name is Jeff McIntyre. And before you run out to tell your story, you got to get your hands on some tools of the new media trade. At first, it could be tremendously overwhelming in this digital sea of, you know, new media toys. It's like, what do you pick? What do you need? What do you want? How much do you got to spend? So let's dive right into probably your most important piece of equipment. Your MasterCard, no, your imaging device, your HD video camera, a couple must-haves when you're out there on the hunt for a decent camera. One, it really needs a mic input jack because without the audio, does it matter if you have good video? Um, I'm raising my hand, uh, no. Good audio only enhances your video because I hate to break it to you, without really good clean sound, no one's going to watch your pictures. And it would also be pretty cool if your camera had some manual controls for exposure and audio levels and all that. Friends, the next stage is editing the visuals, whatever we co covered in the electronic news gathering. As I told you earlier, the average duration of a television story is 40 seconds. And organizing the content that may be a moving images, still images, graphics, animation, live sound, voiceover, all these things to be accommodated in just 40 seconds. The reporter organizes all the materials and rewrites the story and makes as a package. Friends, we will see a small uh, film to show that how the editing is taken place in respect of electronic news gathering. Once I finished with my field work, I headed back to the Headlines Today office because uh, whatever tapes I had taken had to be ingested. That's basically the first time it's uh, you know stored before it's taken up uh, to the editing table. Once the story is scripted, 
the journalist takes their story to the copy editor who approves it and then gives it a go ahead to be edited and put on air it's it's a fairly decent script and uh, you've got all the elements you've also got a p2c yeah. so you've got all the yeah. elements of a nice uh, report hopefully it'll work out well on the edit as well yeah, but you got to hurry as well because yeah. uh, you got an evening bulletin to catch thank yeah. you so much the copy editor was very very happy with my script and that really took me by surprise hi hello Nice. Well, I mean, I'm not going to tinker with the way you've uh, thought of the story because that's that's your idea that should come out first. But for you to be able to do uh, an edit of a story, this is not enough. This is something that can probably uh, be published in tomorrow's newspaper. But for television thing, you have to be more descriptive. Okay. Wow. really really upset i mean he obviously didn't like what i'd done and he said that you know this is something that you should have given me in the morning so it obviously looked like a proposal not a script so this is going to be a voice over is it yes it's going to be a voice over that will go with the clip where people are not talking and where you have and you, shots you, of you also have sound bites so you also want the uh, quotes that other guy, other people yeah otherwise how will i know what you're trying to say this doesn't give me any idea i need to have an idea what your final story on air is going to be like okay visually of course you'll treat it in a way but content wise i need to i need to be able to read this and say oh and get an idea of this is what the story is okay you know? so i got it i just made a random uh, script of my voice over and gave it to the copy editor which he rubbished because that was not the way you're supposed to do it The video editing was very relaxed because I had the editor who helped me out. He was very knowledgeable because of which my story went through very well. मेरे ख्याल से बुक वाला जो सेक्शन है जो बुक्स की जहाँ तक हम बात कर रहे हैं वो मेरे ख्याल से ज़्यादा बड़ा हो रहा है है ना Once I rework my script, I finally got a chance to sit down with my editor. Actually, I think we can just cancel that because we're giving an intro here. Ah, why? Cancel the whole thing. Cancel the whole thing. Yeah. The same thing you are uh, yeah. repeating. Yeah. Cancel the, the whole thing. Repeating. Yeah. My whole plan was to put a lot of text in it and have a lot of words going, interesting facts about Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling. And I go there and I sit with him and I say, you know, this is what I want to do. And he says, well, then you should have done a graphic ingesting. and i looked at him and i was clueless because i had no idea what that was and he says oh that's going to take time again editing was the most smooth process that i went in completing my task i need this much part to be taken in voice over which will go with uh, this will go with a movie clip from the movie that we will be might take from the archives and this will go from the clip that i have I just had to give a small brief to my editor and he exactly know what he had to do. So for a smiley face on there, ke tumhari story taiyar? Ha. Theek hai. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Finally when the editing was done my editor gave me my day I had worked towards it from something that didn't exist to something concrete that I had in my hand This is the tape you can take it from this All right okay. thank you okay. so much Thanks thank you for all Best of luck. nice meeting you thank Same you Same I've got the tape finally done and heading back Finally when we were in the newsroom we forgot all about our competition because being there on live television totally to cover us it was almost euphoric to me to know that my report was playing and i mean on zaka jacob show off all shows finally when i was watching zaka jacob give the link to our stories we were excited thrilled scared at the same time because we didn't know how it would look on television but then it was amazing when i saw my story coming on tv friends the last stage is eng distribution stage in olden days we have a huge set of team for covering the eng now due to availability of the equipment and accessibility of technology the reporter himself covers the story writes the story edits and makes the package sends to the channel either directly or through the social media some stories are directly distributed through social media which is gaining lot of importance 
now mobile journalism that is a new technique to cover the stories edit and distribute that is working well with the the present technology and environment friends electronic news gathering has becoming a popular technique to cover the stories even in print media they use this techniques to cover the story and print in the newspaper also now qr codes and other technologies where the audience can see the videos also now electronic news gathering is gaining lot of importance blended with mobile journalism mojo technology this video i hope it will be useful for the the future journalist thank you very much namaskar